NBC's hit summer drama, The Night Shift, is returning for a second season. Stars of The Night Shift, Owen Mackin and Jill Flynn, are here to give us a preview. Good morning, Owen and Jill. Good morning. Good morning. All right, it's the second season. It kicks off Monday. Give us a sneak peek. Ooh, a sneak peek. Mm -hmm. Is this the moment we are cutting to a video trailer and we're going like this? Or do you mean a sneak peek in terms of us saying stuff about the show? Uh, no, this is the part where you tell us about the show. Go ahead, Mac, and no, take no, it away. No, no, he definitely go. <laughs> okay, so um, Night Shift. Let's see. Night Shift is a, um, obviously it's a medical drama. It takes place at night. Um, a lot of our doctors on the show have served in the military, so we have the uh, military aspect to it. Takes place in San Antonio, Texas, um, which gives it a little bit more of a blue collar feel. It's not, you know, a, a New York hospital, an LA hospital. It's San Antonio. Um, and yeah, they're following around she all of us doctors. weddings and any other kind of personal event we want a spokesperson for. <laughs> very good. So you, you can be hired out. Here's my question, though. You, you both, I mean, obviously you launch into your characters. You're excellent actors. What have you learned about the kinds of people who do those shifts? The, they're not glamorous shifts by any means. What have you learned about them and the work that they do? It's a special breed. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be, a, <clears throat> you gotta be a very strong person to do that. It's it's uh, very tough emotionally and, and physically and into, and it's um, you gotta commend people who can do that type of work. It's very very difficult. I mean, even even just doing it as an actor and kind of learning about it and talking to people, you feel exhausted sometimes because it's quite overwhelming. So, it's uh, yeah, a lot of respect. Well, we get respect as viewers, so I can't imagine as actors. Have you ever played a character in your career that made you think I would like to do that? for a job? Well, at the moment, I don't think I could ever be a doctor. Mm, <laughs> I, I, no way. I mean, I did, this, I did this film where we basically spent the whole time on a boat in the middle of an island on, off the coast of Africa, and I was like, I could do this as a job. <laughs> was it off the coast of Africa thing or the, the boat thing? The boat thing off the coast of Africa. But you like to sail, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I could do that job, but, you know. Now, Owen, you were know? a model, yeah. too, so, uh, you know, I'm sure that was uh, always really glamorous. No, right? you, you know what I'm thinking for <laughs> Owen, then? It's a cruise boat <laughs> entertainment director, then that might be your dream job. I'm not going to argue with you. That sounds like fun, right? Uh, get, we'll get people <laughs> in touch with your people. Boat, and I like this. Oh, right, but while we're, on, while we're talking about Owen, what's it like? Because uh, the, the bulk of your work's been uh, international films. What's the difference between doing things uh, across the pond and doing work in America? Are there big differences that you notice? Yeah, in America, no one really understands what I say, <laughs> so that, 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 that's a big barrier. It's and, true. and people take me very seriously, which is uh, <clears throat> no. America is just everyone's really. I, the only American show I've done so far has been here in Albuquerque, and everyone's been great. So my experience has been tainted by the fact that I'm working with really nice people. So I can't imagine everyone's this nice, but our crew and cast is great. So, you know. You got lucky. I got lucky. We All got right, lucky. So now, Jill, well. Jill, you play a doctor, and I mean, obviously, you're, I'm sure there are a lot of challenges with that role. What is it that you can say you've learned as playing uh, such an such a intense character? Man, like we were saying, there's, there's a lot of respect that you have for these people when, you know, just the knowledge, the, the amount of knowledge that you have to absorb and then be able to reference at such a fast pace. Mm. It's incredible. Um, and I've also learned that I just, I really don't like blood and needles, man. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't. So, I don't, I don't blame you know, you it's... Is it weird if I say I do like blood and needles? Is that <laughs> yes. the same thing I said? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect for your job with <laughs> yeah. the news director. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, no, absolutely. Wow. Uh, now, but, um, I like this idea of being a cruise director. I, like, I think you would be an amazing cruise director. Do you want, do you want, do you want to join me? You can, you can be I like, would love you it. You can do the, be the entertainment spokesperson. Every I'd be like Friday the night. Vanna White of the cruise director, right? Just like wave my hands around oh, and point good. to stuff. Yeah, that's all right. Somebody even practicing? Just sure. Yeah. On, on our end, we don't want to be responsible for the cancellation of the night shift, though, so I think that you should honor your contract <laughs> for now because you're doing well, great work. We could just bring an episode to the. <laughs> no. Yes. So, it's so nice Thank to you. see Thanks. your personalities behind the scenes. I know your characters, Very it's cool dramatic, cats. it's suspenseful, there's romance, but it's really nice to talk to you and get to know you as people. So, this was a pleasure. We're looking forward to tuning into the night shift. Second well, thing. It's an absolute pleasure. Nice talking thank to you. Guys. And uh, it's been 10 years just about since Garden State for Jill, so congratulations on that. But the night shift, oh, which, hey. yeah, oh, returns Monday, Monday, February 23rd on NBC.